This Black History Month, I want you to parade this shit. <laughs> I do. I want you to be so happy that you black, bro. I want you to go everywhere and let the world just know that you're black. You're living in your skin. You're embracing who you are and you're happy to be where you are. You're happy to be the person that you are. This Black History Month, I want everybody to know that they are worth it. It's about the most important thing that we've done as a country because there is no history without black history. And that's what people need to understand from coming over on the passage to millions and millions of Africans on the bottom of the sea floor to getting here to slave trade, to going through Jim Crow, to all the things that have happened and to grow up in a time where you're at school and none of that stuff is told to you and you have to ultimately find it for yourself to recognize black history at this particular time. It's a big event and black people have contributed so much to this country from building it up to jazz, to R&B, to the way that hip hop has changed the entire world. It's the smallest month on our calendar, but it needs to be the biggest ones in our minds and our hearts. I think Black History Month is just a reminder to keep striving, to keep growing, to keep bettering ourselves as a nation, as a community. A lot of the things that are glorified in the world are our trauma. And, you know, I feel like Black History Month is about acknowledging all the ways that we have broke through these traumas and these stigmas. And I feel like Black History Month is just getting more and more iconic every year because Black people, we are so iconic. Black History Month to me is just a start. I feel like every day is a part of Black History Month because every day we are doing bigger and bigger and bigger things every day. I couldn't imagine being anything else. I'm, I'm so proud of where I come from. I'm proud of what I stand for. I'm proud of where, where I'm going and I'm proud of the voice that I have. I grew up going to an all white elementary school surrounded by people who did not look like me and did not have the same experiences as me. And I remember in fourth grade, I went to my school's principal and I said, hi, I want to on every Wednesday read a black history report to the school during the morning announcements because I feel like more kids need to know about that. Like that's what black history means to me. I am so proud to be a black person and to have the ability to just sit down and reflect on all the accomplishments and strides that my people have made. It just makes me so proud. So this month is always one that I appreciate and I get hype over because I'm just like, yes, we have a fantastic, beautiful history that goes beyond the United States of America and slavery. I'm talking about kings and queens in Africa. Like that's the type of black history that I think that we should be talking about more. My thing about it is I want more people to celebrate their blackness. You know, I think that people don't do their research and realize how awesome certain black people are in the planet and what some people have done. Byron Allen is the most intriguing person on the planet to me. Byron Allen owns the Weather Channel. Random black man that people don't even know owns the Weather Channel. He owns multiple things that people have no clue he owns. And they all know who he is. Cause if you stayed up late at night, there's this comedy show that comes on and he's been the host of it for years. And people never realize that Byron Allen is that Byron Allen. I find him as the most interesting man on the planet to me. No, I'm gonna name somebody that they know, but they only look at him as a pro athlete. I think people should really do their research on LeBron James and realize how LeBron got to where he got. He's not only making millions on the court, but he's pretty much a billionaire in this case because he's found a way to learn how to invest off the court. He's also a pillar of his community. You know, after he got to the NBA, he didn't just put himself on, he put on his entire family, every friend, every person that's close to him is now a millionaire right along beside him. Like that's who I model you know, my life after. That's who I modeled it, inspired to be like. I remember teaching my classmates about George Washington Carver, about Harriet Tubman, about Madam C.J. Walker. And Madam C.J. Walker was my favorite because, you know, I got to stun on them and be like, first self-made female millionaire ever. My shero would be my mother. She's the strongest black woman I've ever met because I seen it firsthand. 
my mom was one of the first black children in New Orleans to integrate a school. My mom come from a place of trauma, a place of trying to understand, a place of looking for equality. She come from a place of hurt, like you know what I'm saying? And I seen her overcome so many things with being a black woman. That's my girl, that's my shero, that's my role model. And she's definitely a black woman that I aspire to be so much like. I don't think it's about a month. I don't think it's about a period of time. I believe that black lives shouldn't just be celebrated one month. I believe that black lives should be celebrated every day. This Black History Month, you should look into super awesome black people who have done great things for history, man. And we want you to honor yourselves by loving the skin you're in and any dreams that you have, chase them, accomplish them, and know that you too can have anything you want in this world. I want us to all sit and meditate and pray and heal so that we can all grow this year. This Black History Month, I want you to perfect that collard greens recipe.